This demo is being done with a 17.5 kilowatt generator, a 450 pound 220 volt 6 tool rotary using 70 grit 10 segment diamonds. The area that's being done is in a basement, so the machine is being hand carried down the stairs. Without the weights, it's 390 pounds. The alternative to taking it down in one piece is in two pieces with a dolly, which would require less people, but in this case, because the manpower was available, the machine was hand carried down the stairs. Before starting the work, a Mohs test is done to check the abrasion resistance of the concrete. Concrete is hard troweled, so it probably is going to be abrasion resistant to the extent that some sand and water is needed. A number four pick and a number five pick are both attempted to scratch the surface to indicate the hardness. Neither has any effect. Number six and number seven on the Mohs test, neither scratch the surface. The eight pick, though, does scratch the surface. The sound gives way that it's actually scratching into the surface of the concrete. So that means the hardness of the concrete is between a seven and an eight Mohs. The machine is doing pretty well to cut into the surface of the concrete. The diamonds are fresh, so the scratches appear to be adequate enough to remove that hard trowel layer from the top of the concrete. The machine is being run at half speed, right around 30 hertz, and this is to minimize the amount of heat that's created from the friction of the tools crossing the surface of the concrete. The cooler they can stay, the more freely they'll cut. Because this concrete is scratching between a 7 and an 8, Experience says that it will only be a matter of time before these diamonds start to glaze and the cutting slows down. Rather than wait for the diamonds to glaze, silica sand is broadcast in front of the machine. And then water is applied as a mist from a pump-up sprayer. The sand and the water mist will keep the tools sharp. Because the floor is so hard, and the diamond grid of a 70 is so fine, it's the perfect combination to cause the diamonds to glaze or to round over or to simply stop cutting and lose their effectiveness. The sand adds an abrasive element that helps to sharpen those diamond tools and keep them cutting. The water is used just to hold the sand in place. Because the floor is hard and the process is going to be done dry throughout with the 70 grit diamond, it's not a matter of waiting for the diamonds to glaze and then reopening them each time. It's continuing to put down sand and water mist in front of the machine so it maintains the sharpness of the tools. And that's about it. The 70 grit diamonds will stay sharp and continue to cut away the top surface of the concrete before the sealer is applied.